This week, we try out Gino's East, tavern-style thin crust pizza. Hi, everybody. It's Friday. That means it is Friday frozen pizza time. We're going to have a pizza right here in the 309. I can point to the right thing there. Uh, going to have a pizza in the 309. If for those of you that don't live here in Peoria, 309 is our area code. That's why I'm raised in the 309. I'm excited this week, not only for the frozen pizza, I think we have a pretty good one, which I've never, it's one that I've never had, but what showed up finally in the mail, it took forever, is this, the Master Hot Sauce Collection. It's a package of 30 mini hot sauces. So we can try a different hot sauce every week. We'll do it for 30 weeks. I think by then maybe we'll be ready to try something else on Fridays. But anyway, the, the Master Hot Sauce Collection, I'm really excited to try these out. We'll do a different one every week. I'll pick out one and kind of feature it. We'll kind of really start reviewing. I haven't really been saying much about the hot sauces, but this way we can really review the hot sauce as well as the pizza. And speaking of pizza, this week's pizza is a Gino's East tavern-style thin crust uh, crumbled sausage, crumbled Italian sausage. So anxious to try this. It looks like a really good pizza. So um, I'm going to go prepare it. You're going to see some shots of that in just about 10 seconds. So let me prepare this, get some overhead shots of it, and we'll be back with the frozen pizza and this week's hot sauce. See you in just a little bit. back with this week's frozen pizza, Gino's East, uh, thin crust tavern style. A lot of people think Chicago is just all their specialty is deep dish. Their ex Chicago has their own tavern type style, which I, this is, and it's a thin crust. I don't really know if I've ever had it in Chicago or not. Uh, being from New York, of course, I prefer New York pizza. That's one thing I really I thought about today is you never, or at least I don't. If somebody out there knows of one, let me know. I never see any like New York style frozen pizzas. You see St. Louis, Chicago. I think, well, Cincinnati has chili. I think there's a pizza too. I don't know. But anyway, here's this week's pizza. Gino's East Tavern style. It looks really good. And we have the hot sauce. This is, I got to put on the reading glasses because uh, this type on here is so small. And I found something weird on the label. Uh, so this week's hot sauce, it's the very first one. I'll put a little picture up of it. It is actually Pepe's Whiskey Habanero. And they got a little cartoon of some guy with guns. I, you probably can't see that. The one that I blew up is kind of fuzzy too. But the thing I found weird was, uh, it says hot sauce, product of USA, bottled in China. Why would you make it here and then bottle it in China? I don't know. It just seems weird. But anyway, that's the way it is. Uh, Pepe Whiskey's Habanero. Uh, we're going to try. I thought I'd try a little dab on the fingertip before we put it on the pizza. Wow. That's got some heat to it. Woo! I thought it had, and I have the Amber and Joe fire extinguisher. Let's put a little fire out here. Wow, that packs a punch. Pepe Whiskey Habanero. Um, got a nice flavor. I thought what we'll do here is I'm going to take a bite unsauced, then put the hot sauce on and try it with the hot sauce. That is, let me have a little sip of beer. Cheers, everybody. When I put that on the pizza, it's going to pack a wallop. Here's the pizza. Crust is super thin, just the way I like it. Uh, this week, it looks like we have sauce. Last week, that was my complaint about the emos. Let's take a bite unsauced. Hmm. This is really good. It has sauce in it. Feel hot. Hmm. This is really good. Really tasty. Sauce has a nice tang to it. Cheese is good. It's mozzarella cheese, a little cheddar. And the uh, icing on the cake is that Italian sausage. That's got a nice savory 
almost somewhat spicy. Speaking of spicy, I'm going to put the rest on this slice. Wow, what comes pouring out of there? I have a, I have a lot on here. So let's just see if this burns my mouth off. Peppy whiskey habanero. Um, wow. I didn't get much of a, I think I hit a spot that I didn't pour any on. Mmm. I like it on there. Adds, there's a lot of heat, but I like the flavor on the pizza. It's funny, it's a lot different than when I just put it on my finger. There's heat, but so far it's not crazy hot, but it really adds to the pizza's flavor. Gino Z's, this is really good. And I was starving too, so I'm going to eat this whole slice. Speaking of slices, I have a rule. Last week we had to cut it in squares because they said you had to. That was part of the whole St. Louis style. So I did it. I'm going to do as I'm told. But if they don't have any instructions, my own personal rule is you cut a pizza into four four slices. No matter what size it is, you can just go with four. It's just It's just what you should do. Mmm. This is a good frozen pizza. I had mean, hot sauce. It's funny. It's not It's crazy hot when I put it on the pizza, but it really adds to the flavor. It's a really good hot sauce. I don't know. I don't know if these are like specially made for the master hot sauce collection or if they actually sell it. I'll have to do some research. But you can see the sauce on there. Mmm. Really good. This is up there with the butchers. Crust is super thin and crunchy. There's a lot of flavor to this. Some kind of frozen pizzas just don't even have any flavor. This is really good. I mean, this is almost as good as a pizza in a pizza parlor. Wow. Really good. Gino's East uh, Taverns, Chicago Tavern style. Uh, and I remember napkins this week. Um, give it the recommendation. Uh, I'll give this a highly, highly recommended frozen pizza. Gino's East Chicago Tavern style thin crust pizza. Really, really a good pizza. And this hot sauce, the, what was it? Whiskey. I can't see it now without uh, whiskey, Pete's habanero or something like that. I don't want to put the reading glasses back on. Extremely good. If the rest of the hot sauces are this good, we're off to a rollicking good start here. Highly recommended. Gino's East. Uh, hope you all have a great weekend. We'll be back on Monday for the chicken wing thing. Uh, this has been the Midwest Slice of Life. Thanks for tuning us in, and uh, we'll see you Monday.